Americans love a good argument. From how much we pay in taxes to whether a hot dog is a sandwich, our commitment to free speech means we have no problem debating the issues. Nowhere is the importance of free speech and dialogue more apparent than on the issues that matter most, like abortion. And while advocates on both sides are acutely aware of where they differ from each other on this crucial question, it can be easy to forget where they do agree. For example, sincere people, whatever their position on abortion, can agree that they should not be forced by the government under threat of prosecution to promote their opponent's point of view. But that's exactly what California tried to do in 2015 when it demanded that pro-life pregnancy centers that offer free ultrasound services to women inform their clients where they can go to abort their children with a government subsidy. Directly contradicting the goal of a pro-life pregnancy center, the so-called Reproductive Fact Act, required pro-life nonprofit pregnancy centers, almost all of which are faith-based, to prominently display or distribute the following message. California has public programs that provide immediate free or low-cost access to abortion. To determine whether you qualify, contact the county social services office at this number. The law said that if this statement was not featured in a conspicuous and easily read place in the center and printed in no less than 22-point font, then the clinic staff must deliver the message either by hand in 14-point font or digitally at the time of check-in or arrival. And that was just the law's requirements for licensed medical clinics that offer women free ultrasounds. What about non-medical pregnancy centers? Those without ultrasound that still provide a wide variety of free services that include parenting classes and material help like diapers, car seats, and strollers. When a woman visited one of those centers, the Golden State's legislative body demanded that she be greeted with a printed disclaimer translated into as many as 13 different languages, specifying in detail that the center was not medically licensed. California's completely unnecessary disclaimer also had to be included on the center's websites and in every public outreach communication or advertisement. That requirement would even carry over to a billboard with the simple message, choose life. The obvious goal of this draconian rule was to stop pregnancy centers from advertising, or at the very least, drown out a pregnancy center's message and scare women away. Pregnancy centers and medical clinics are there to offer a woman hope, help, and a real choice in what could be the darkest moment of her life. Yet, if one of these charities failed to comply with California's demand that they speak a message that violated their deepest beliefs, the state, starting with then-Attorney General Kamala Harris, stood ready to crack down. First, a $500 fine, and then $1,000 for every subsequent offense. Alliance Defending Freedom filed suit on behalf of National Institute of Family and Life Advocates, or NIFLA, and two of its affiliated pregnancy centers. The case went all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court, where ADF President Michael Ferris argued for NIFLA. In 2018, the court stopped enforcement of the state's law as an unconstitutional attempt to compel speech that cuts to the very core of the First Amendment. That ruling upheld key free speech rights for every American, regardless of what they think about abortion. Justice Clarence Thomas, writing for the majority, reminded California that our freedom depends on the free exchange of ideas. The people lose when the government is the one deciding which ideas should prevail. Justice Anthony Kennedy took the state to task in his concurring opinion. The California legislature included in its official history the congratulatory statement that the act was part of California's legacy of forward thinking. But it is not forward thinking to force individuals to be an instrument for fostering public adherence to an ideological point of view they find unacceptable. Free speech matters for everyone, not just for those who happen to be in political power today. The sooner we relearn that lesson, the better off our country will be. Join Alliance Defending Freedom as we do just that at www.adflegal.org slash standforfreedom.